All right, so I've been wanting to do a pregnancy vlog for a couple of months already, and I just never started it. Um, I know there's a bunch of pregnancy vlogs out there right now, and everybody, I guess, has something different to offer because every single pregnancy is different. And this is my fifth pregnancy where I've made it to the second trimester. I've had some issues with my third and fourth babies where I had postpartum hemorrhaging. And so I'm doing a bunch of things with this pregnancy to try and make sure I don't get it again. Um, I am 23 weeks pregnant today. Like I said, I wanted to start this a couple months earlier. I'm already past the midpoint. But for the first number of months, I really don't have much of anything to speak of for symptoms except, you know, like the moodiness and first couple months I have a little bit of nausea. Not, not really nausea though, it's just discomfort. Just like stomach discomfort. Just not normal the way you feel when you want to eat. Um, but yeah, um, hmm, let's see, what do I talk about? I can eat just about everything that's stuck in front of me, um, and which is good because I'm trying to follow a, a different meal plan that is very focused on nutrition and lots of calories, nutritious calories, not like cake and stuff, which I would love to have lots more of, but uh, yeah, nutritious calories. <laughs> um, I'm following, it's called the Brewer's Plan, <coughs> excuse me, so what I did was on the Facebook page, uh, I was given uh, just a sheet like this. I kind of squished it so that it all fit on one page. And then I put printed it out and put it in a picture frame so that I can each week just tick it off with, um, with a dry erase marker. And so this is this week so far. I mean, I've, I've missed a couple things. Like I didn't get all my green veggies one day and um, the protein, you can have six to eight. So I fill in eight a lot of the time. More often than not, I'm at seven. But I also am not sure if I'm measuring my proteins correctly. I think I might be um, over overestimating the size because they say one ounce instead of three ounce servings because you got like eight of them here, which is a lot. But that that's one ounce servings of meat instead of three ounce servings. And I think like the other day my husband made steak and I'm pretty sure I had what would have been like a 10 ounce steak, but I only ate about three quarters of it. <laughs> Maybe a little less than three quarters, but I put it down as five, cause I don't know. I have a very hard time gauging um, size. Like one of the biggest things that they talk about with the brewer's diet plan is eggs. Um, so I have been eating eggs for breakfast for a very long time and not every day so now I'm doing it every day I'm trying to have at least one egg for breakfast and then another one at some other point during the day and it's been it's been good I've actually noticed since I started on this that my skin has gotten better I always have had eczema here like really bad eczema and um, it kind of would come and go and since I started the brewer's plan it's toned down a lot like I can still feel where it would be it's a little bit scaly there, but it's not it's not itchy. I don't have any issues. My skin is actually soft, which is really nice because usually I get dry skin when I'm pregnant. My hair is still brittle, but I haven't had it cut in two years or more. <laughs> I need to go and get a haircut. Um, I cut my kid's hair, so my husband goes and gets his hair cut, but he doesn't want me to touch his hair, which I guess I could kind of understand him not a pro or anything <laughs> um but yeah so i should probably do that but my nails have been like growing like crazy i just cut them the other day because they were they were so long and i was like knocking them into everything i'm like what's going on oh my nails i need to cut my nails so um the the brewer's plan with the the diet plan with the foods that they recommend that you eat if you follow it well even though you're eating a lot more calories and proteins it's really, it's, it's obviously healthy because I'm, I mean, I'm noticing a whole bunch of benefits from it. Yeah, I'm just really impressed that, I know that diet is a very important part of our skin and body health in general, but 
it just surprises me at how quickly I noticed a difference. Like I've only been following this plan for, oh, this is my fifth week. So that's, it's pretty quick that it made a difference on that. This pregnancy though, because of the, the diet that I'm eating now too, I've gained a lot more weight than I had with my previous ones by this point. So I'm 23 weeks. Last time I weighed myself was um, two weeks ago. And I have gained 19 pounds overall, which is a lot. <laughs> considering that with my third uh, child, my four-year-old, I think I only gained about 21, 22 pounds total through the entire pregnancy. But with her pregnancy, I actually also had the most difficulty in um, after labor. Like labor, labor and delivery in, in that sense was fine. It was just afterwards I had, um, I had a really bad hemorrhage. So they were actually surprised because I changed my eating habits with her about eight weeks before she was born. I decided to go off sugar completely. So I was eating a lot of, I was eating a lot of oatmeal, which actually I found out later was probably a bad thing because I didn't want to eat eggs in the morning because eggs were expensive. Although we've now found uh, a farm that we're getting them from. So it's not as expensive for us as they were then. And so I was eating oatmeal just about every single morning. And from what I've learned about oatmeal is oatmeal has a tendency to, um, because of its high phytic acid content, to cling on to any calcium and just remove it from your body. So I had a cavity in my wisdom tooth and it got much worse during that time. Um, my daughter had issues with her teeth. Shortly after she got one of her teeth in, she actually chipped it. She hadn't even had it a month. She actually chipped it and like literally wore it away to nothing. And it totally freaked me out. I had actually had nightmares about teeth for the longest time. But um, so I was not getting enough calcium during that last period, at least, especially during that last bit of my pregnancy. I was getting plenty of proteins and iron. So when I hemorrhaged, I had my levels were higher than they expected. They did not have to um, give me a blood transfusion, which they were actually surprised about. The nurses were the nurses were surprised. I don't even know how much I lost specifically because I just kind of overheard the nurses outside the room, and um, it was a lot. What they said then, and that was only within like half an hour to an hour, so I have no idea what I lost overall. But um, they were surprised that I was still cohesive and. and uh, or coherent, sorry, wrong word, and um, awake at all. But uh, yeah, that was something I never want to repeat. Uh, so I did a bunch of things with my last pregnancy as well to improve my calcium levels because I figured that that was one of the big problems because your calcium and magnesium are uh, play big roles in your muscle and your your um, your uterine contractions and whatnot during labor. And a balance is important. If you have too much magnesium, you can slow your labor. And if you have um, too much calcium, you'll actually it'll hurt more, from what I understand. But if you don't have enough calcium, uh, your contractions won't work the way that they're meant to. So I did not have enough calcium, I don't think. Plus, I pushed when I shouldn't have. That was my, my fault. That's one of the reasons why I'm like very, very focused on trying to make sure I'm getting adequate nutrition with this pregnancy and making sure that I get the calcium I need, which is why if you look at the thing, it's got actually four milk on here. It's like four eight ounce glasses of milk per day or like yogurt or um, cottage cheese or whatever that substitutes in there. But it's, it's a lot of milk. I'm glad we live on a dairy farm because... And I can I can get milk from the barn whenever. Oh, another thing that I've been doing to try and help with health in general is um, I'm not using any lotions right now, which is why I'm actually surprised that my skin is soft because um, usually it's very dry and it's summertime right now. So there's a lot of sunshine and uh, there's a lot of stuff in sunscreens that I'm just kind of wary about. I don't know, a lot of people would say that's weird, but 
Um, what I've been doing instead of sunscreen, which I did for my kids as well, um, is um, I've been actually ingesting uh, cod liver oil. This is the one. This is the one that I got. I had purchased the uh, fermented cod liver butter oil from what was it called? Silver, Silver Valley, Nature Valley, Silver. I don't know. Nature Valley, I think. I don't remember the name of the company, but it's really expensive, and it comes as a gel. And when I first purchased it back in November, it was, I think, about $70 Canadian to buy. And, and the shipping was free because it was through Amazon. And then when I went to buy it again when I ran out, it was $120 for one jar. And I'm like, I think I can go without. Because that's a lot of money for a jar of fermented cod liver oil. So, um... A health food store nearby actually carries this one and this one doesn't taste bad like I can get my kids to take it no problem I had them taking the other stuff and my one my eight-year-old daughter she was not thrilled she would she would get very very upset when I said we had to take the cod liver oil my other three they took it no problem my son he's uh, he's seven now he was six at the time and then my four-year-old daughter and my two-year-old daughter they would yeah they, they just took it they didn't have any problem with it so I noticed that while we were taking it, we we brought it down on our vacation with us. We finally were able to take a vacation. We went to Florida. And I would literally apply sunscreen on the kids and myself once per day in the morning. If they went in water and it washed off, whatever, it didn't matter. Once. That's all I did. Um, and we did not burn. We were taking the cod liver oil every single night before bed. And we didn't burn, we didn't get sick. The previous trip that we had taken, like almost four years ago, my son got really, really sick on, because the food is different, and the water's different, and, you know, things are, things are different. It's, Florida does not have the same stuff as Canada in the sense that things are grown differently and whatnot too. And the water source is different. We have an artesian well here. We don't have the treated water. So that, um, the fact that none of us got sick at all and none of us burned until the very end of our trip when instead of using the baby sun lotion that I had bought that I brought along because it was really low we bought a spray on because we thought oh well you know we're seeing other people use it it looks easy let's just use that and so we were using the spray on and the first day we used the spray on then I got a little bit of a burn on my arm um, my son actually it was like a little spot mist on his cheek and he burned. I don't know what it was exactly. My husband, he burned like crazy. I don't think he put any sunscreen on at all, actually. And he wasn't taking the cod liver oil. He just wouldn't take it. Um, so he burned really badly on our trip. I just know the spray on stuff. I was not impressed because we actually reapplied that one. We didn't reapply any other day. Just that when we have the spray on stuff. So I went back to my bottle and then we're fine. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really interesting that um, taking the cod liver oil instead of using sunscreen has been working for us. We spent a lot of time outside in the sun yesterday and the day before, and I don't use sunscreen at home. We just didn't put any put any sunscreen on at all, and we haven't burnt. I actually, I'm believe it or not, I'm actually tan <laughs> compared to normal. I'm usually like white, so I've actually been tanning. A little bit which is nice and sticking out a lot further than I did with any of my others I actually have a 20-week comparison photo for all five of my pregnancies so far my first one I didn't make it to 20 weeks so I don't have anything for that one but um, yeah so I <laughs> it, I'm a lot bigger mm -hmm. I'm sticking out a lot further this time and um, we did find out the gender I did, I did a, a reveal for my kids with cupcakes and we put sprinkles in the cupcakes according to the color of if it was a boy or a girl and my son is very excited because we're having a boy. <laughs> um, but that's another thing that I find interesting. Uh, a lot of people will say that they notice that with pregnancies with the boys are different than pregnancies with girls 
And I think that I can actually attest to that, at least for me. What I've found is with each of my girls, I would literally have anxiety attacks while I was pregnant. I would stress and have major anxiety and like freak out, panic attacks, like just, oh my goodness, I have to give birth. And that would just, that would just send me into this complete panic mode. And um, I would go crying to my husband, like, you need, you need to help me. I don't know what to do. You need to help me relax. I can't relax. Like I literally could not relax. It was so bad. Um, with my first, I figured it was because my first, my first baby, right? My first pregnancy that I'm going to have to deliver. And the pregnancy that I had prior to that, I miscarried at 14 weeks. So there's that fear hanging over the whole time. So I figured that was why I was having issues with her. With my second, that was my son, I had no panic, no issues. I was completely peaceful, relaxed, like whatever. Oh yeah, we're gonna go have a baby. I've done this already, Just whatever, it's no problem. Um, and then, <laughs> because labor delivery with him was so different from my first, even though it was really actually really good labor and delivery, when I got pregnant with my third, like with my, with my now four year old, I was just freaking out. Like I had, and I, I didn't understand why I was freaking out. Like there was nothing I couldn't conceive as to why I was freaking out. Cause it was, it was really, really bad with her. And with her, I did not gain very much. Um, I had a lot of symptoms in general like I, I was nausea for had, had a lot of nausea for the first trimester to where I could we actually would cook rice outside because I couldn't stand the smell of cooking rice rice <laughs> really one of the most bland foods you can get um, the the issues with her her labor her delivery like her the labor with her was really really short it was like two hours for her labor it was really short but I hemorrhaged really bad. And uh, so after that, when I got pregnant again, I became very scared that I was gonna hemorrhage again. And then my panic was like, well, what if I die? Or what if I you know, hemorrhage so bad or whatever. And then I was doing a whole bunch of things to try and prevent that. And I did not, I, I hemorrhaged, but it was not very bad at all. Like it was really good. My levels, my hemoglobin levels after, um, after I gave birth, when they chest checked me again, were actually they were they were perfect levels like they were they told me the level, I can't remember now what the numbers were but they were higher than they normally are for me I'm usually I usually have low iron so the fact that they were actually higher <laughs> than normal was a big relief I did not feel like I'd hemorrhaged I did not feel like I had any issues at all after she was born her labor took a long time though hers was Hers was five hours compared to the two hours from before. I was like, what's going on? Why am I not having this baby yet? Like, I've been here for a while. Come on, what's going on? But she was also two weeks late. So, <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. So with this one, being a boy, and then finding out that I've actually had no, like, I, I haven't had any panic attacks. Usually by this point with my girls, each of my girls, I've had panic attacks. But I haven't had any of that with him. I mean, when I think about, oh, I have to give birth again, oh, that's just, that's about it. It's just, oh, I have to do this again. Okay, well, <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't like giving birth. <laughs> I don't mind being pregnant. I have no issues with pregnancy. Um, newborn stage, I'm not a big, I'm not a big newborn person. My newborns is different than other people's newborns. I think they're cute and I like to see other people's babies. You know, they're cute, but I'm, I won't, don't be offended. I, I'm not going to hold your baby or anything necessarily because I'm not, I'm not really big into newborns. I have to, I have to hold my own, <laughs> you know, that's, that's enough. Um, also the sleep. I think that's the big thing. I don't get enough sleep. Um, well, with all my pregnancies, I haven't gotten enough sleep. This one. I, I sleep fine when I go to bed. <laughs> I just don't go to bed when I should. I stay up far too late. It's a problem. <laughs> the kids are in bed. Yes, let's go and wash the carpets and 
clean the walls and clean the bathrooms and do dishes. I hate doing dishes. <laughs> Let's do laundry. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been nesting since like 12 weeks. I've been nesting, <laughs> actually probably earlier. I'll just quickly end with, um, this is my belly. Oh, I kind of already showed you. I don't know if you even saw it because I'm not sure. I can't see the camera. I don't have a view thing to show me. But yeah, here's my here's my belly. My shirt's too small. It's my pregnancy shirt from my first baby nine years ago. <laughs> so I'm still wearing all my same pregnancy clothes because I'm too cheap to buy new ones. Anyways, so that's it for me for my 23 week. I'm as of today, 23 weeks. Oh, I got lots of stuff that I want to do before baby comes. 17 weeks to go. Well, in my case, probably more like 18. I always go over. Anyways, that's it for me. And uh, hopefully I'll update next week uh, and continue throughout. Because I think this will be good for me too to look back on and see how things went. <laughs>